abun mamaki yanda rayuwar mu sun je ya canja wa a shekara 1 kawai a 2022 ko mu ya canja i practically went from being a nobody to somebody with influence and multiple streams of income so definitely joining has not been easy kuma na koyi abubuwa da yawa to shekara ya zo karshe sai na duba abubuwan da na koyi a wannan 2022 na she bari ni sharing domin kowa ya karu ku dan yakuri because of the noise saboda na fito waje su akwai background noise da yawa amma ya ka zamu dan yi manage kafin mu ci gaba ku dauki sakon bi ku subscribing to channel dina domin na ci gaba da kawo muku videos akan lafiyan ku ba tare da bata lokaci ba abin da na koyi a 2022 na farko shine there is no such thing as an overnight success za ku ga mutane suna a ai dare dai wane ya zama wane gaskiya mu gana ko shine overnight success takes 10 years of hard work mutane da yawa ba san yi ba amma ba 2022 na fara social media ba mutane suna san on the mining hard work din mutane ko za a duba success din mutun sai a ce ai tashi dai ya zama haka ba san wahalan da ya ci kafin ya zama hakan ba duk wani successful mutun ku kallon rayuwan shi kafin ya zama abin da ya zama i can assure you ko za ku ga babaci ya zauna ya ba san da ya ci kwakwa tukunan kafin ya kai matsayin da yake so darasi na farko shine overnight success takes 10 years of hard work babu wanda success take zuwa mishi akan gado abu na biyu da na koya a 2022 shine expect to fail kunga ba wanda aka haife shi kwararre a duniyar nan jama'a hankalin ku ya kwanta ku san cewa duk wani business ko duk wani buri da kuka daura akan ku ku san cewa first attempt da ma failin za ku yi like miserably amma kuma mistake din da mutane suke yi shine suna tunanin wannan failure din bad ne sai kaga mutane kawai sun yi failing sun yanke sun daina abu ba san cewa wannan failure din is actually necessary ba it is the first step you need to actually reach your goals wani shawara da aka taba bani kuma na gode da naji wannan shawaran kuma na karba na rike shi shine har ku taba daukan failure wani abu mara kyau ku zo zuciyan ku ya karaya eh ba dadi abin da za ku yi shine ku dauki wannan failure din ku using din shi as an opportunity ku ga me za ku koya daga wannan failure din so ku yi amfani da wannan failure din as opportunity da za ku yi learning from mistakes din ku da kuma shortcomings din ku kuma ku ka lura mutum ba ya taba failing back to back a jere ma'ana idan ka fara wani abu kai failing wannan karan in ka sake yi kai failing the next time failure din ba zai kai tsananin last time din ba hakan idan ka sake tashi kai failure da kai next time ba zai kai last time da kai failing ba so point i'm trying to make shine there is always an improvement in ka duba failures din ku failure kan na goma will never be the same as failure kan na farko ko da yanda Allah ya tsara ya tsu daban ma haka yayi mutane daban-daban suke mutane ba a hada an zama daya ba akwai wadanda zaka ga za su yi failing kawai so uku ne ma kafin su fara ganin result akwai kuma wanda zaka ga sai ai failing wajen so biyar so shida so bakwai ma kafin ya fara ganin result so hakuri ne mutane ba su da shi kowa daban yake to in kuna daga cikin wadannan sun fara abubuwa suna ga baya tafiya kar ku damu failure is part of the process kuma duka mu ma haka muka fara so lesson number 2 fail please it is actually part of the process bari in ba ku misali da failures ina tun 2018 fa na fara wannan abun um, health awareness din da waye ne farko na fara daga wani website ne wani english website nazo ma daga bayan na rufa website din to na sake bude wani website na ci gaba da yi da english nazo kuma na koma instagram daga instagram na koma videos da turanci daga bayan nazo na koma videos da hausa dai kafin ma na fara ganin results so na fara 2018 amma ban ga results ba sai 2022 kun gani so lesson number 2 shine please fail it is actually part of the process darasi na uku da na koya a 2022 shine duk abin da kuke so ku yi just do it mutane da yawa suna so su fara wani sana'a ko kuma suna da wani buri sai su ga ka ayi bari gama wannan tukuna a ai ban iya wannan ba tukuna a yanzu ba lokacin bane it's not the right time truth of the matter ko shine it will never be the right time wannan kailulan da kuke ji brain din ku ne kwakwalwan ku ne yake kawo muku domin yayi protecting din ku saboda subconsciously kuna jin tsoron failure ta ku ta kailula a ai ban gama wannan ba ina so na koyi wannan tukuna a bari gama wannan tukuna in ko kuka bi ta haka you will never be ready ba za ku taba shiryawa ba kuma kamar yanda muka gani a previous point din da muka yi failure is inevitable ba za ku yi escaping failure ba wato dai dole in ka dauki wani abu ka ce zaka fara yi at some point dai dole zaka yi failing so why not do it and fail it as early as possible if you are going to fail why not just fail now and get it out of the way kun ga first video din da na yi a youtube har yau har yau kun yanzu video din da nake ji ba na ma so ni ji wani yana kallo ina so na jaddada muku wannan darasi na ukun da wasu quotes ina guda biyu da nake so 
Quote Nefar Koshini, an idea is just an idea without execution. One and Chatri Sitiot Gongne for that. I hope I'm saying his name right. Alasa, but I didn't know for the Sunanshi. Nebushini, everybody has an idea. The thing that sets you apart is the execution. One of Kumaro got Kiyosaki in Efa. They can say, Sina, but then Abadani. Maana, Duk Burunka, Dunia, Duk Plan in Inka, why one day Fika. Abun does a bumbun taku, Yasaka Kay Agaba, Shini Tashi, Kaya Abun the Kachi Zakai. Despite the fact that you know you might fail, kuma after you fail, getting up and moving past your failures. So, but in anum bunny, Tashi Aini Masala. Kuma Abunda, yeah, the mutani de Vasagani, but she knew one hour by Ia, one cabani, Allah Nikaway. In the Hakatash Kay, when I first stepped on Pomi Zebu by Insha Allah. That I see now who do one as favorite in a shine have options, please. One number some man get Alibam Makarantani. Karaka goi ga degree in the kai kake de shi kuma shine zai zama hanyancin tuwanka especially a Nigeria please and um, please have a plan b kuma wannan shawarar shi nake ba wa kowa na hade da shi especially medical students have a plan b kar ku taba depending akan skill set kwaya daya barin ba ku misali da kaina kun ga ni likita ne ko haka zai iya kawo mun kudi ko ba zai iya kawo mun kudi ba zai iya ina da digital skills in terms of graphic design da video editing haka zai iya kawo mun kudi ko ba zai iya kawo mun ba ina rubuce rubuce haka zai iya kawo mun kudi ko ba zai iya kawo mun ba ina koyarwa haka zai iya kawo mun ko ba zai iya kawo mun ba sannan ina saka haka zai iya kawo mun kudi ko ba zai iya kawo mun ba do you see the point i'm trying to make haka taba depending akan skill daya duk wani skill da za ku iya kara wa kanku wato duk wani alternate way da zai iya kawo muku kudi ko bishi ku je ku koya so in kana da wani degree din law din ka ko engineering ko medicine yes that's good amma kuma find a different set of skills in ma makeup za ku je ku koya in ma girki za ku je ku koya ta dinki wallahi skill ne da zai iya kawo mu akwai coding akwai freelancing akwai abubuwa da yawa da za ku iya yi on the side ko dai the most important thing ku tara wa kanku skills ne da in wannan doesn't work out in wannan bai ba za ku iya koma wa plan b in ma kuna da plan c ku da plan d da plan ko ma yayi ne yana da kyau kuma haka ma wallahi yana kiyawo mutum walakanci saboda wata na walakanci ana maka walakanci ne an san baka da choice ne baka da option darasi na biyar shine your phone wato wayan ku should be an asset barin matso in sake fadan wannan abun ku ji da kyau your phone should be an asset not a liability kunga asset liability ko asset abu mai kawo muku kudi liability abu mai cinye muku kudi ko ba haka ba duk wani mutum mai common sense wanne zai dauka asset ko a zamanin yanzu da mutum zai dauki miliyan daya ya kashe ya sai waya dan ya rasulullah in dai wayan nan ba kawo muku kudi za ta yi ba menene ya fadin haka yanzu fa muna digital age ne musamman yanzu zamu shiga 2023 da mun ga AI yanzu suna so su karbi komi an shigo age din da mutane da yawa in their youth especially mutane in their 20s wato mutane between 20 and 30 years they are becoming millionaires mutane da yawa youths matasa da yawa suna kudi ta online businesses da wayan su kadai matasa da yawa suna kudi da wayan su ta social media ta affiliate marketing ta freelancing ta coding ta abubuwa da yawa potential din da wayan ku yake da shi na amfanin rayuwarku da kawo muku kudi is spot is endless amma kullun kai ne ko ke ne kashe kudi ya sa da ta a shiga tiktok a yi sharholiya ko za ku san shi if you are a youth watching this video this is a bitter truth that you have to accept so darasi na uku mai ne wayan ku should be a what an asset not a what not a liability ta darasi na shida shine kar ku taba underestimating social media wato abin da mutane ba su gane ba shine social media fa identity din ku ne Social media ku shi yake gaya wa duniya ku waye ne. Ku san cewa a zamanin yanzu ma akwai wasu wajajen aiki da in za su yi recruiting suna wani abin da muke ce social media check. Me ya wannan za a shiga a nemo tsohon tweets din ka a Twitter ko kuma a shiga su Instagram din ka da su TikTok a gane kake posting. In suka ga shirme a hana ka aiki. Za ku yi amfani da social media ku yi networking. Za ku yi haduwa da so many important people especially in LinkedIn. Za ku yi amfani da social media ku yi building credibility din ku yi building influence and power there are so many things za ku yi to social media one important tool da mutane ba su sani ba a rayuwa shine you attract what you give off so abin da kake nuna wa duniya kai kake shi za ka yi attracting in ka nuna tarkace tarkace za ka yi attracting an shiga yanzu lokacin da social media yana daga cikin best ways na koyin abubuwa ni karin kai na abubuwan da na koyi a social media ya fa yirga misali a tiktok na fara samun inspiration ma na ma fara ma abubuwan da nake yi a youtube na koyi yanda ake editing videos da filming videos da komi abubuwan da za ku iya koya 
a social media on ku by iaka please and uh, please if there is anything that i could change at 2023 you know change the social media ku ku make the social media and the anashika and some ku one any ya training ku yake menene core values ku goals ku da komi lesson number seven abinda na koya a 2022 shine time don ku is very very valuable my time is valuable your time is valuable duk wani abin da zai ci maka time inda ba wai kawo maka kudi zai yi ba ko kuma karuwa da shi zaka yi ba wallahi it is not worth it again za mu sake koma a social media mutane yanzu an shiga zamanin da mutun zai shiga tiktok yayi 7 hours be ma sani ba what you feed your brain matters akwai abin da muke cewa brain food wato kwakwalwan ku yana da ability wato yana da dama daukan abubuwa da kuma sai yana dauka ba abin da kake yawan kallo ko kuma abin da kake yawan ji ko kuma irin mutane da kake surrounding kanka da shi subconsciously kafin ma ka sani naka fara acting kaman su kai ma naka fara yi bin su ba kama sani ba so ku kiyaye abubuwan da kuke feeding brain din ku inda har ba videos din da zasu amfane ka ne kake kallo ba mai amfani ko wani moving justin timberlake da na kalla me ne kuwa is teach in time ne ko me ne ni na ma minta suna moving i think you people should go and watch amma ko kalla video yin za ku san darajar lokacin ku mutane da yawa ba san darajar lokaci ba please and please one in 2023 inda zai shigo ku kokarta ku ga duk wani lokacin da kuke investing kuna investing ne a wani abin da za ku karu da shi kuma wani abin da nake so mutane su gane shine time to me is not the same as time for somebody that is 60 years old idan ka dauki me shekara 22 ka kara mishi shekara 10 a rayuwar shi me kenan ya zama 32 ko a wannan shekara 10 kuna ga abubuwa ne zai iya achieving that's almost half his entire life duk wani abin da zai iya achieving zai iya achieving between wannan 22 to 32 years old din nan amma ko ka kalla ko dan shekara 60 dan shekara 60 aka kara shekara 10 a rayuwar shi 60 zuwa 70 abubuwan da zai iya yi kadan ne like what will change between 60 and 70 years of age duk wani abin da yake so ya yi ya riga ya yi a youth age so abin da yake so mutane su gane time is more precious in your youth As you grow older, time. So better utilize your youth to make use of your time. Dare si na takwas da na koya a 2022. Kun gani yana cika littafi dan da rubutu. Dare si na takwas da na koya shine financial literacy. Kuma abubuwan da ba a koya mana a makaranta ke dan. Unfortunately, financial literacy yana daga cikin abubuwan da ba a koya mana a makaranta ba a koya mana a gida kawai mai sa'a ne yake koya ko kuma masu karance karance ko kuma irin masu mentors din da suke koyin financial literacy. to me financial literacy financial literacy ko yanayin yanda zaka yi managing finances din ka kenan zaka yi managing dukiyan ka hanyoyin da zaka yi kudi kawai ilimi ne kan dukiya kuma one important lesson that i learned at 2022 akan financial literacy shine don't expect to get rich on a salary kun taba ganin wani mai kudi da ke karban salary inda ba wai politicians din Nigeria ba nan aje sa a gefe the richest man in the world duk masu kudin duniya salary suke karba ba salary suke karba ba dan gwata salary yake karba dan gwata ba salary yake karba ba muna da wani mentality kan cewa mu je makaranta mu samu degree mu samu aikin gwamnati mu samu salary mu sa salary na a banki abin da robert kiyosaki yake cewa rat race wanda suka karanta rich dad poor dad sun san me nake magana wannan eh zai sa maka abinci a kan table ba kuma ba shi zai iya zama hanyar sanadiyar dukiya ba kuna ga masu kudi suna zaunar da yaran su suke suje su nemi degree su nemi aikin gwamnati ne LMAO no asu kudi suna koyawa yaran su financial literacy abu kadan da ake koyarwa daga cikin financial literacy shine number 1 key to wealth wato hanyar yin dukiya is multiple streams of income not a salary ma'ana ba albashi bane zai kawo maka dukiya multiple streams of income ne a ce kana da investment a wajaje da yawa wannan yana kawo maka 250 wannan yana kawo maka 200 wannan yana kawo maka 250 haka ake yin dukiya ba wai jira ko ni shekara wani ya baka albashi ba na biyu shine best income is passive income wato akwai abin da muke cewa passive income wanda kamar ana cewa wai kana kunce kana bacci dukiya yana shigowa even though haka ne amma ba haka ba ya saboda at the end of the day dai sai ka sa hard work to ku na kafin ka samu wannan passive income din amma yawanci passive income kana zauna ba kamar sani ba zaka kudi ya shigo saboda ka riga ka yi wannan investment din akwai popular saying da ake amfani da shi when it comes to passive income da ake cewa don't work for your money let your money work for you Again when the skaka and Terish that for that they will know what I'm talking about. Now kushi ne one of the worst things that I've ever done kushi ne kusa savings account a banki. Ka tara 2500 a banki a savings account. Abinda mutane da yawa ba sa sani shine almost every year akwai inflation. I think is it like 2.5% inflation rate every year or something. I don't know about the economists since was correct in here. But every year there's like some sort of inflation. 
kuma if you keep your money a banki in ka je ku dinka banki ko ku dinka devaluing yake so a ce ka je 1500 a 2015 a banki savings account kana ga 1500 ne yana da the same daraja da yau 2022 yake da shi no amma kuma wanda ya je dauka 1500 ya sai kadara da shi maybe a ce gold ko ya je ya sai gida ya saka rent ku din shi appreciation zai so kun ga yayi investing ku din shi amma bai aje a savings account ba so um, one of your goals for 2023 please you should find a way ku nemi hanyoyin investing ku din ku amma aje ku din ku a savings account wani is not really a good idea musamman mu musulmai da mu ba ma interest these are just a few things gaskiya when it comes to financial literacy so in kuna so ku koyi mu about financial literacy akwai two very very important books gaskiya that i definitely recommend ko wai current time and that's uh, the richest man in babylon da kuma rich dad poor dad there is ina tada da na koya kuma wannan shine ya mun wahalan karba sanda na wahalan na dan wahala kafin na karba kusa an ce gaskiya na da daci wannan da kyar na karbe shi shine sometimes you have to do what you hate gaskiya magana shine ko you will never reach your goals if you only decide to do what you love kai you will only do what you love <laughs> that's not how it works in order to get where you want to be sometimes you have to do what you hate kuma wannan ma again is another video da na gani na robert kiyosaki a tiktok the changed my life this video actually changed my life when i watched it da na kalla barin ba ku misali da kaina na tsani recording videos like i hate recording videos this sanda zan yi recording video wani abu nake ji ya makale mun a wuya da kyar nake hadiyewa amma me nake yi kun ga ti nan dauka nake na kurba na kora shi na tashi na ji na dauki waya na yi recording video me yasa saboda na kallon rayuwa na na ga maryam you have ga goals in ki and to go from point a to point b dole sai kin sa video tsakani at some point videos dole za su shigo tsakani and then finally Lesson number 10. Darasi na goma shine duk wani abu a duniyar nan fa kawai ba kai bane Allah ne kai koyo tashi za ka yi kai iya kokarin ka ka bar wa Allah sauran. Yes talent is important kuma hard work is important kuma kana bukata both talent da hard work kafin ka yi reaching goals din ka amma kuma ne ka san cewa kai kawai abin da za ka iya yi wai nan biyu ne sauran da ka koyo ka bar ya Allah ne. Sanan duk wani abin da za ka yi ka tabbata dan Allah kake kuma zai amfane ka ba wai dan mutane ba dan mutane ne za su kai ka su baro ka. Wannan musamman ma gaskiya it applies mu a harkan social media saboda mutane ba iya burge su wasu za su yaba ka wasu za su zage ka wasu za su soka wasu za su tsane ka yau ana tare da kai gobe ba a tare da kai kamar yadda na fada in da ma dan Allah kai kuma da ma kai for your own benefit ne saboda this, this was what you wanted to do to begin with for your own sake you will be happy and you will be satisfied amma ne wai mutan mutane kai kan zaka shiga depression to a takaice dai ga abubuwa goma da na koya a 2022 kamar yadda na fada gaskiya rayuwar mutum zai iya canjawa haka kawai a shekara 1 kuma kamar yadda na fada mu as youths mu as matasa gaskiya time is very very important one year is very very valuable to us is even more valuable to us than when one day yake shekara 60 da wani abu so mu shekara 1 yana da bala'in muhimmanci so dan Allah ku tabbata kuna invest in lokacin ku wisely idan kuna son wani abu ku tashi ku yi remember to always have options kuma da Allah ya rinka karance karance dan na ga ba mu da wannan reading culture din a Nigeria so in kana yawan karance karance aka karu sosai so mun zo gashin video mu da yanzu ku ga mu a comment section wani darasi ne da na fada kuka fi dauka kuma shi za ku yi implementing a 2023 saboda shi ya fi muku dadi sannan kun yi subscribing to channel dina dan zan rinka posting sosai insha Allah yanzu a YouTube dina Thank you very much for watching. Zama hadi 2023 insha Allah.